All right, hello and welcome everyone. So today's video is sponsored by Discord. For those of you who are somehow not using Discord already, it is a free voice and text chat community platform that also offers a storefront for games. Today's video is specifically going over the new Warframe bundle being offered through Discord Nitro, which is the premium $10 subscription that offers a huge library of games and includes a ton of goodies for Warframe over the next couple of months. You can sign up using the link in the description to help support Discord and the channel. And thanks again to Discord for sponsoring this video. Okay, so before we actually talk about what is in the bundle, let's talk about how you actually get it. Obviously, you're going to have to sign up for Discord Nitro in order to get this. Uh, but after you do that, there are actually multiple ways to get the bonus. You can, if you have installed the game through Steam, get it through Steam. And the link in the description at the very top will explain how to do that if you are a Steam user. But if you are not playing Warframe and you just have Nitro and you want to know what all is here, uh, you can simply go to your library and start Warframe up. And then after you're logged in, you can just walk straight on over to the market. And then it should be popped up here at the top, but provided it is not, you can just type Nitro into the top here. Uh, and then you can see all of the bundles in Nitro. If you do not start the game up through Discord, these won't appear, but you can get the perks regardless. Uh, and there are, of course, workarounds to see these, even if you've installed the game through Steam, which I'm sure many people will be talking about in the comments of this video. And I will try and leave a link in the description for anyone who wants to do that. But in this bundle, this is the Ash Nitro bundle. This has Ash himself, which is a very useful solo Warframe, a Discord color picker, which I think is going to be the main appeal for most people, uh, Ash's Koga skin, which of course is very nice, along with the deluxe skin for the uh, katanas that comes with the Koga skin normally, Centurius and Donna, and the entire Gazelle armor bundle, and an affinity booster to boot so you can get your Ash Warframe all the way leveled up very quickly. So we're just going to grab this and then I'm going to show off a loadout for it for you guys so you can get busy with your Ash business. I, I have messed around with the cosmetics for a little while, so let's go over all of them. Uh, so a lot of these cosmetics have been in the game for a while, but are very nice and you probably want them. So this is the Ash Koga skin. It is an incredibly good deluxe skin, one of my favorites easily. Uh, and it's really nice. It colors really well. Nothing has really changed with the Koga skin. It is a very, very nice looking Warframe. Oh, that was a really good one. I wish I could go back now. That's a good one, too. Uh, it is a very nice Warframe skin. Uh, that it's, it's a really good Warframe skin. There's, like, not much more to be said than this looks really good. I'm just going to leave that right where it is. Anyway... This is a really good Warframe skin for Ash, who is a useful enough Warframe. He's a great solo frame for most players, although he doesn't have a ton of place in a large amount of group comps anymore. He's still great for solo. Uh, so this is the Koga skin itself, but this bundle also comes with all of the Gazal armor, which if we just copy main colors, looks like this, but we ran them around for a little bit. The Gazal armor colors pretty well. Uh, I will say I'm not a huge fan of the chest piece on this armor, uh, but the legs do go very nicely on the Koga skin, which is surprising to me because usually the legs are kind of hard to find a spot for. Uh, so yeah, really nice armor set, specifically the shoulders. I think the shoulders are by far my favorite piece of this armor set. They go on a lot of different Warframes very well. Uh, and then additionally with this, we have the Centuria Sandana. Now, straight up, Gonna be honest, Centurius and Donna, not my thing. I know some people like it. It's not for me. For me, this is way too big. It is a beefy Sandana. Uh, it is like, it is thick. This is a substantial thing to put onto a Warframe, and I'm usually more into like wispier Sandanas personally. But if you're into this aesthetic, it's probably gonna be your thing. It colors well. It doesn't color poorly. It's just not, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, it, um, it's just not for me. It's just, it's just not my thing to have like this large of a Sandana. That's just not the direction I usually go. Now, okay, maybe not these colors. Let's just go to default. Uh, now I did mess around and make a full color scheme for the Discord color palette that we have. And it looks like this, which is way nicer than I anticipated. The Discord color palette is way beyond expectations because it contains all of this. This is a really nice selection of colors. Obviously, you have Discord's, like Discord TM Blurple up here. So you have all of these very Discordy uh, purple blue colors. And then we have some nice grays, which are good. But most importantly, we have black and white. 
you got black and white in here so white this right here this one with a star on it this is actually the brightest white that is in the game it's actually present present in a few other color palettes specifically classic saturated it also exists um but it's really nice for that to be in here and additionally this is one of the darker blacks that are in the game i think this is also in the smoke palette which has the the darkest black in the game uh oh no it's a different tint than we normally get anyway it is a very dark black that you can use to even out a warframe if you have a color channel that you don't know what to do with usually you make it black so this is a very useful color palette especially for people that maybe don't have a ton of them uh and then also of course people who just enjoy blurple that's just gonna be good for you uh and also yeah you can just be ash white uh not white mode light mode uh if you'd like to but i'm personally a dark mode fan myself so we're just gonna we're just gonna stick with that uh, but yeah, I think this looks fantastic. This looks way better than I thought I was going to be able to make with just one color palette. Uh, went way above expectations. Now, there is one other thing present in this pack, and that is the Nikana skin. So this is the Nikana Prime with the skin on it. Uh, this is the Nikana Ryu skin, and it looks really nice. I enjoy it quite a bit, but this can kind of exemplify why I'm not a huge fan of the Centuria skin specifically, and it's because of the way I do attachment stuff. So if you want this to be visible, you can do visible while holstered. But if we do that it clips a bit unfortunately this is why i usually go with a wispy or sandana but not a big deal because obviously while you're not using it you can just make it invisible if you want to use all these skins together still uh but yeah i think this looks really nice the deluxe pack for ash has always been worthwhile like the skin is great this is just a good way to get it along with some other benefits so that's pretty much what's up if you for some reason don't have stuff in this in this pack you should probably get discord nitro if you're not using discord i don't know i don't know why that's a thing that's happening like you also get an affinity booster this way uh there are going to be more perks coming down the line for warframe for people who have nitro you'll have nitro so you get every single other perk for that you can join my discord all this business discord is still a great thing that everybody should be using stop using skype uh so yeah that's kind of gonna do it for this video uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again to Discord for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, later, everybody.